Craig, you're starting to get some nice returns uh, and, and average out of Ch uh, Chester, but uh, what do you need to start doing to get some more production on kickoff returns? Yeah, I think, uh, well, last week, well, obviously, we didn't have a chance to do it because they kicked touchbacks. Um, but we'll continue to work on what we feel like is best to attack, you know, our opponent. Um, we just got to make sure we do a heck of a job of getting our double teams, if that's the scheme that we're going to end up using or getting single blocks and having our returner just going and hitting it as hard as he possibly can. So if we get an opportunity, hopefully we can take advantage of it um, because our punt return game is, is doing pretty well right now. But like you said, we've got to really work on and focus on the kickoff return and hopefully gain some field position with that. The missed one at the end of the game, was that just – it just – didn't didn't work or was there something with the relay or, or what happened? Yeah, I mean, we always talk about having a clean operation and, you know, it, it just comes down to us having a great operation with our snap, our hold, and our kick. Um, and Randy will be the first one to tell you that it doesn't really matter what it is, he's going to try to make everything. And, um, you know, unfortunately it didn't happen, which was uh, – you know, I know Randy was disappointed and he had a good game beforehand. He was kicking the ball really well and unfortunately he just didn't make the last one. So uh, I know he's excited to get back at it and hopefully uh, he'll get another opportunity this week and, and, and come through. You had a guy run on late for the second week in a row for a play. What's going on there? Mark? Yeah, uh, disappointing obviously. That's not the operation that we're looking for. Um, we've, we just got to do a better job on the sideline, you know, as coaches of, uh, you know, getting everyone involved, um, talking to them beforehand, uh, letting them know which, which part is coming up. And, and guys have just got to be aware and focus in on if they're supposed to be on the field, they got to be. But, you know, we take that as coaching. Um, you know, we just got to do a better job of getting those guys ready to go. And you, in the return game, I don't know whether this is the week for Darrington or not, but how much could he help you there when he, when he is ready? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we'll continue to look at Darrington. Um, you know, if he's healthy, he could be back there. You know, if he's if he's 100% ready to go, because uh, he's done it. You know, for us last year, and had some pretty good returns in the Green Bay game. Um, but if he's uh, practicing, we'll get him some reps, and we'll see what he can do. How do you do you check in on Kerr, or, and uh, and how, how does that process work when you've got a guy who's maybe iffy, and, and if he's not able to go? What did you see from Johnny? How you think he'll do? Yeah, I mean, I probably check on Kern every single minute of the day. Uh, you know, it's it's tough for Brett because I know he wants to be out there, uh, but he's working every day to try to get back. And, and if he can't go, he can't go. And we need Johnny to go up in there and step up and, um, you know, punt the ball well um, that he's capable of doing uh, and just go from there. I mean, we just can't sit there and say, oh, man, we don't have Brett Kern. We don't have Brett Kern. The next guy's got to come up and do a good job, and hopefully uh, Johnny will do that this week for us. Does it feel that you lose your kicker and your punter to basically really similar injuries, yeah. right? It's, it's tough. Um, you know, you go back and look and see what you can maybe do, um, you know, throughout the week, maybe uh, try to get them stretched out earlier before we can get there. But, you know, sometimes it's just fluke things that happen, you know, whether it's Sam or whether it's Brett. You know, something just happens. It wasn't like, uh, you know, Britt just started to warm up when, when it happened to him. Um, it, it, it's just tough and it's frustrating, I know, for the players because they want to be out there helping us out. Uh, but, you know, hopefully that, that's all in the past and uh, we can get guys healthy and, and come out there and help us win. The so one short, short punt by Johnny, is it kind of more likely to happen when a guy just hasn't punted in a long time that, you know? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to Brett about that. You know, and what what could we do to make Johnny more comfortable? Uh, and you know, Brett sat there and was like, "It happens." Like he goes, "It happened to me." You know, I had a twenty-some yard punt a couple years ago. Uh, you know, we just got to make Johnny feel comfortable and understands that he's here for a reason. He's an NFL punter. Um, do what you've done throughout your whole career, whether it's in high school, college. You know, you made it in the NFL. Just go out there and have confidence and, and go and hit the ball. Um, you know, it's, it's disappointing. Obviously, Johnny doesn't want to punt the ball 12 yards. Uh, and, you know, he's devastated. And he walks off the field. And we've got to go over there and talk to him and say, hey, you know what's most important is your next punt. He, then he launches a 63-yarder. So he's got it in him. Uh, it's just the whole confidence and, you know, building that up on him. And, you know, hopefully he can go out and produce this week. Tory's been active for the last couple of weeks. I mean, what what has he kind of brought? You know, brought to the special teams unit. You think he'll keep getting opportunities? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, he's got to continue to work. Uh, he just brings such a passion um, for playing, whether it's a fullback or special teams. You know, he's into it on the sideline. This kid loves football, you know, and I know a that's a term that gets thrown out a lot, but you see the energy and the passion that he plays with and whether he's not even on the field rooting on his teammates. Uh, you know, we just got to continue to work with him and get him better. And, you know, if his name gets called up, he's got to produce. So, you know, we're excited about Tory, and hopefully he can continue to uh, help us win. Who are some of the guys that could be options if Racy isn't able to go? Because obviously he, he didn't practice. Yeah. He was out uh, after the game. Yeah, um, you know, obviously Nick Westbrook has played a gunner for us. Uh, you know, he got a lot of opportunity on offense last week, but uh, he's a guy that will always be in our minds. Chris Jackson started off as a gunner for us last year at the Denver game. Um, he could be another option, but there's plenty of guys that we've worked with in the preseason, um, you know, depending on who's up and who's not. But, you know, we'll have a guy come in there and step up and hopefully do a good job for us. Rob Moore has said that you know special teams played a, a part in whether or not Josh Reynolds is up or down. Uh, we talked to Josh. He said that he's played special teams yeah. in the past. Is there anything there just as far as like why he's not involved in special teams? Sure. Uh, you know, early on, he was a gunner when he was with the Rams. So, you know, we just felt like we had Dane, Westbrook, Racy, guys that, uh, you know, could go in there, maybe not play as much on offense, but... Uh, you know, we already talked to Josh early on in the week, and he said he's ready to go if, if need to be. And playing at Gunner, I know Rams were throwing him passes, all that stuff when he was out there too. So, um, you know, if we asked Josh to go out there and play Gunner, he said he's ready to go. And if we need him on anything else, he said he's ready. What are uh, maybe points of emphasis this week heading the Jags game? What do they what do they do well? Yeah, obviously they got a dangerous returner. Uh, Jamal Agnew has has been a Really good returner, whether he was at Detroit, he already has two touchdowns this year. Um, just a dangerous return man uh, that we obviously got to do a great job with our punts, our kickoffs, and then we got to do a great job with our coverage units going down there and, and tackling them because he's a weapon. Um, and, uh, you know, anytime he touches the ball, he can score a touchdown. They got a good core group, too. Um, I know they're big physical guys. Uh, that can run a little bit. So we've got to do a great job with those guys. And it feels like we say that every single week. But, uh, you know, we're going to be matching up one-on-one -on -one with those guys, and we've got to win our individual battles. So it'll it'll be a good test for us. What's the exotic level for you like on, you know, potential game-winning kicks? You had one that went through, one that didn't. I mean, how do you handle that on the on the sideline? Well, you say prayers, you know. <laughs> You know, you just obviously hope for the best. And, and uh, you know, these guys put the work out during practice. Um, we give them situations uh, during practice to hopefully help them out during the games. And it's just one of those deals where you just go out there and, and watch because you really can't do anything, you know, after you send them out, you know, as coaches. So they go out there and do it. And, um, you know, you just hope for the best. And uh, knowing that they already put in the time to help them succeed, you know, you just always hope it works out for them.